Today, I'm going to talk about how you can utilize 50 GB space in Hopis 365 for absolutely free and with uh, there is no uh, limitations and that is shared mailbox. So in this video, we are going to talk about shared mailbox, how you can access, how you can utilize a shared mailbox and what situation you can utilize. I'll show you some use cases and how you can use them in your organization. So basically, what is a shared mailbox? Shared mailbox is the mailbox you can utilize or shared by multiple users. At the same time, everyone will have access. Plus, shared mailbox has a mailbox size up to 50 GB and you can utilize that space absolutely free and you create unlimited shared mailbox in your organization uh, without paying any extra cost. Licenses are not required and you can store up to 50 GB data uh, without paying any. If you are storing a data more than 50 GB, then you need uh, exchange a plan to license. Also, if you are using uh, in place archive or the litigation hold this kind of feature, then also you need exchange plan to license. Plus, you can't give the access to the external organization. Only internal user has access to the shared mailbox. You can use the shared mailbox in your Outlook. Also, you have a, if you have a permission, you also send the email through the shared mailbox, send as or send on behalf. These kind of features you also you can use. With the security, uh, you cannot encrypt any shared mailbox emails. 25 up to 25 people you can uh, use the shared mailbox at a time so shared mailbox how you can access you need to log in on the admin.microsoft.com and then you please uh, then you can go to the exchange man and from here you can access now in the new exchange admin center you can access a shared mailbox from the same pan uh, where the user mailbox you can see uh, the shared mailbox i have created one shared mailbox for you and you see the user mailbox and shared mailbox you will see together and uh, when it comes to the settings uh, you will not see uh, much difference in both only difference the one is uh, with the license user mailbox need a license and shared mailbox doesn't and i'll just click on the shared mailbox and i'll show you but before that i'll show you from how and from where you can create a shared mailbox there are two ways you can create a shared mailbox i'll tell you first uh, you can go here in admin.microsoft.com from here also you can create a shared mailbox you can see here in, under the teams and groups there is a shared mailboxes tab from here also you can create a shared mailbox and you also create a shared mailbox from here from exchange admin center and you can see the add shared mailbox both are the same same shared mailbox create but I'll recommend and highly recommend you should create a shared mailbox from the admin center because it will give you more options and uh, how you can manage and it will also provide you more settings to manage the shared mailbox. I will tell you the difference uh, in a just a couple of minutes. Okay, so I'll create one shared mailbox for you uh, right now. I'll put the name uh, shared uh, mailbox two and uh, that's great. It takes the it took the name and the email ID is the same. Save changes, nothing. It's very simple. Uh, you can create a shared mailbox and you can give the permission to members so that they can access the shared mailbox. Now your shared mailbox has created and if you see here, you can directly it is giving the option to add members to your shared mailbox. What does it mean? When you add a when you add a members to the shared mailbox, all the members can see their shared mailbox they can see this shared mailbox in their outlook but you need to perm you need to give the permission so i'll give the permission uh one to uh amol and the swas so i'll add add them and see how it is giving the permission updating and the permission is granted okay i'll click this and i'll refresh and you see clearly see the shared mailbox has created i'll click on it and it will show me the all the options and if you notice there is no much difference in the user mailbox and shared mailbox uh, you will see all to all these options are uh, right there everything is similar options you will see now i'll show you i'll walk you through uh, one uh, per settings okay every settings i'll walk you through uh, same uh, if you want to change the name or primary email id you can change i already uh, shown you in my last video when i was covering the mailbox settings 
okay uh, the same same way you can change the primary email id id and the uh, the name display name plus you can add the email forwarding options there is an option you can forward email to anyone in your organization and then also you can put the automatic reply to this shared mailbox okay this is a good feature and all the time i get a uh, request that I'm um, the users not able to see whatever the emails they are sending from the shared mailbox so you need to click this I don't know why Microsoft copy item send as this mailbox and copy item send on behalf of this mailbox so whatever the you are sending through this shared mailbox it will save that copy in the send item of the shared mailbox just all, all the time always remember you need to check this box so that whoever is sending the mails from the shared mailbox that send that mail will be copied in the send item that option was not there this is a very good option and you should click uh, these two boxes so that everyone see what transaction has done through that shared mailbox if you have already used the shared mailbox you will know what i mean by okay next uh, email apps all all emails apps allowed any primary user need a license he will use that uh, license app license office apps license it will uh, come down from his primary account and you can use the shared mailbox on top of that so you don't need any kind of license accessing shared mailbox okay and then the members who has access to this and i have given the permission to myself and the suhas Zado, so both of us can access same permission you can uh, you can use here read and manage permissions where you will get a full permission on the shared mailbox send as permission uh, as i can send email through this shared mailbox to email and send on behalf also i can send if i have a permission i can send on behalf also and then then there is a show a global address list yes i keep this yes so that uh, it will uh, show up to in my whole organization that this account is there if they want to search any shit and they will see this email id there edit exchange settings when you go it will redirect to our uh, old exchange admin portal it is a classic exchange admin portal and you will see the all these permissions same that you are that i have already explained to you and you can see here there is no option uh, full uh, send on behalf uh, that option is not coming uh, mailbox size usage that you will see how much data is utilized here and uh, same thing you can update organization title department email id you can add email id from here and mailbox features where you will see the what are the retention policy address book and everything is assigned it to this user and you clearly see this old uh, old uh, what deprecated protocol uh, is is uh, uh, disabled and i want to disable this okay so always remember or make sure that uh, you do not your organization don't uh, have this protocol enabled okay so always just make sure that these two protocols are disabled because it's already deprecated and uh, you don't need them anymore uh, then litigation hold uh, enabled uh, sorry litigation hold disabled what does it mean it means see litigation hold is uh, is used for the security reason where it will uh, if user is uh, deleted any email it will go to the recycle bin but recycle bin will never empty okay it will keep uh, email for uh, security reason okay it will keep that email it will not delete uh, that email from the exchange and the archiving uh, the same thing if you have a bigger license uh, exchange plan 2 or exchange plan 1 even if you assign the license to shared mailbox it uh, you can archive these emails uh, in uh, archive these emails and delete uh, emails also based on the retention policy whatever the retention policy you have applied on this mailbox uh, then keep in mind this send items and uh, send on behalf permission when you go on the exchange admin center and uh, i'll just refresh and the shared mailbox too you can see this same mailbox is there when i click on this and i will show you there is no keep a copy send item copy option is not available when you accessing same shared mailbox from the exchange plan uh, sorry, from the exchange admin center and you will not find anywhere that option also this option doesn't show you send on behalf permission okay and uh, you also go here see all these poly all these settings are there but there are two three two settings are not here 
and that is why i'm always recommend uh, you always create a shared mailbox from the uh, office 365 admin center where it will uh, give you more permission more uh, settings and uh, how you can access the shared mailbox and so now a billion dollar question where i can use this shared mailbox see shared mailbox is very useful when you have or your company organization uh, deals with the sales uh, contacts info all these kind of mailbox where uh, there is no one person to answer right the lot of people's in the sales department or the info emails that is coming in okay the inquiries that is coming in so in the back end there are a lot of people's are uh, answering those emails right so that time you create a shared mailbox contacts uh, email mailbox contacts at the rate uh, company domain.com right this kind of mailbox where you can create a shared mailbox and give the permission to all users so that all users can access that mailbox and uh, and as answer them you know and you can set auto reply and all these features you can use and there is a one good option that whenever you done with the shared mailbox and now you want a regular mailbox where the one person is going to handle that whole query or the handle that mailbox you always have an option to convert or go back to the user mailbox so you can click here and uh, just go here and convert to regular mailbox i'm going here and confirm and it will just take a minute refresh Share mailbox to user mailbox now please assign the license to the mailbox and use it if you have any question please put them in the comment box and if i'm missing anything also please let me know and uh, thanks for watching bye bye thanks for watching please subscribe the channel thank you bye bye